by the Inspired Design School of Fashion. Thank you very much for everyone who has subscribed to this channel. Okay, you you keep us going. And for those of you who are joining for the first time, please click on the subscribe button, turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of our various, I mean, interesting videos. Okay, in my last class, I I I taught you how to cut, how to draft the pattern, and then to sew a male boxer shirt. It's an interesting one. It's something that you can learn and start making to start making quick money. All right, so I thought, okay, we've done something male. Let's do female laundry today. So in this class, I'll be showing you how to draft a female panty. And in my next class, I'll show you how to dra draft maybe a sport bra or something to go with a panty. All right, so without wasting time, let's start drafting. I'll be making use of this piece of paper here. You need four basic measurements for drafting the panties, the female panties. You need the, uh, the hip line that is from waist to hip. Then you need from waist to the crotch level. You need the waist measurement, as in the waist circumference measurement, and then the hip circumference measurement. If you don't know how to take all the any of these measurements, please, I have a video on how to do this. Check my previous videos. All right, so let's get started. So I've drawn a guideline at this side. So this is where I'll be starting from. From this point, I label it A. I'm going to insert my hip measurement. From A to B is my hip measurement. The hip measurement, as in the hip line measurement, from waistline to hip line, that is eight and a half. So I'm going to mark eight and a half here and call this point B. Then from waistline to crotch is 11 inches, which is the length of this paper. So I'll mark this place C. And then I'm going to insert, I'll come here and insert my waist circumference measurement. You're going to divide the waist circumference by four. And because, you know, the, uh, the material we usually use for drafting panties, they are usually stretch fabric. This is the fabric I'm going to be using, and it has a lot of stretch in it. So because it has a lot of stretch, I'm going to multiply my waist measurements by 0.85. If the material is just slightly, uh, as in it doesn't stretch much, you can use 0.9. Okay, so I'll be using 0.85 to multiply my uh, waist circumference. So divide the waist circumference by 4 and then you multiply it by 0.85. The waist circumference is actually 28.5. So when I divide it by 4 and multiply by 0.85, I have 6 inches. You need to be very versatile with calculation if you're going to be a fashion designer. So I'll label this point D. Then from B here, which is the waistline, I'm going to insert my waist, I mean, is the hip line. I'm going to insert my hip measurement. So the hip measurement divided by 4 multiplied by, by 0.85 again, I have 8 inches. So I'll insert it here. Then I'm going to draw a straight line to connect D to E. I call this place E. D to E. So at the waistline here, I'm going to come down by one inch. This is a basic pattern. Over time, depending on the style of panties you want to make, you can make adjustments, make this uh, uh, deep a little bit more, make the side deep more and stuff like that. But for now, we're going to stick with this standard or the basic form. Okay? Now, from D to E, I'm just going to use my hip curve to draw a curved line so that it's not straight like this. I'll just use my hip curve to connect D to E. So that I have a slightly curved line apart from the straight one that I have here. Okay, then at the crotch level here, I'm going to come to the side by one and a half inch. That is standard for any size, one and a half. Okay, so I can call that point F. Then at the side here, 
I'm going to come down by six inches. And like I said earlier, this is going to be a kind of full coverage panties. If you want something a little bit more, as in like the regular one, you can go up. But like I said, let's stay with the, uh, the this um, standard. So I'm going to mark six inches, which is at this point. And from that six inches point, I'm going to, let's call that place G. I'm going to connect to F with a straight line. Okay. All right. So we are almost done. But before we are done, this line here, this straight line, there are, you know, different calculations, but I just want to keep it as simple as possible. So I'm just going to find, like, divide this line into three. Divide the line. So this is like eight inches. So I have like a two, three quarters somewhere around here. So divide the line like into three, three parts. And from that one part, I'm going to go up by one inch. And then, okay, I can call this point H. Then I'll connect F to H and then to G with a curve line. I'm using my, uh, I'm using free arm so that I can just, you know, make it as curved as I would want. So basically, that's it. You have your front um, pattern for the panties. Okay. it out so that you can you know have an idea what to expect so this is now we'll go to the back we're going to have basically all the measurement we have here then we we'll start making adjustments a little bit so from a to b that is our so i'm, I'm starting from the head of this paper this time around and uh, at the, I'm, I'm leaving uh, a lot of, I want a lot of, uh, some space at the down part because I'm going to use this part later on. So you can leave between 5 and 6 inches below. So from here, I'm, I'm going to draw my line here. So I'm starting from this point. So this is my hair point, A. I'm going to insert the hip line, which is A to B. The hip line is five uh, eight point five. So this is B. This is then the crotch line is C, which is eleven inches. Then I'll add one inch to that crotch depth, so making it twelve. So this is twelve. So that's the point where I'm going to extend. So instead of extending it one and a half that I have here, I'm going to extend it by. 2 1 over 8 2 inches 1 over 8 2 inches 1 over 8 which is right about here so at that point so let me label this let me call this place O. at this point now i'm going to come down by um like uh, 3 over 8 from this point from that 2.18 i'm going to come down by 3 over 8 which is this point so let's call that part p then I'll draw a curved line to connect O to P. Slightly curved line. The easy way to get this is to draft as I am drafting. So now let's begin to insert our uh, is it horizontal measurement now. At the waistline, we're going to insert the waist measurement, which is the same thing with the one we have in front, six inches. Remember how we did our calculations? Okay, and this is point D, like we have in front. Then on the uh, hip line, we're going to insert the hip measurement, which is 8 inches. Okay, this point, we will call A. Then the same way we call, we, we, we'll draw the line. Let's first of all connect with a straight line from D to E. Then we use a curve ruler to draw a curve line to connect it so that it's not that totally straight. Okay. Then we'll find, we'll measure 6 inches like we did for the front. 6 inches down, which is somewhere around here. 
So collect with a straight line to P. P. Okay. Now we're going to find <clears throat> like one third of this, like we did for the fronts. So this is somewhere around here. Then I'm going to come down by one inch. Remember for the front, we went up by one inch. This time around, we're coming down by one inch or three quarter of an inch. Okay. Then I'm going to, this time around, the curve is going to be, how do I put it? Form like a hair shape. I'm going to start from here like this. Curve it inward like this. Then come outside. And connect with P okay yeah you know slightly curve and that is this okay the last thing at the waistline here we're going to come down by 3 over 8 3 over 8 is less than quarter of an inch so it's somewhere around here then I connect to D all right so let's check it out it out here because i wanted to draft the gusset i would just want to draft it here but well we'll, we'll find a way to we'll do it so first of all this is our back and where's the front and this is the front so this is it and remember this is center front and center back so where you are cutting you are cutting on foot on on some occasion especially if you're using all these um a lace fabric that is not so white there may be a joining at the center front and the center back but that's for another class now the last thing we're going to draft is the gusset which lies between the two so as we have not cut this black house i mean the back house i would have just uh done it straight on the paper but let's um let's try and let me see which side i should use okay we cut this out so I'm going to tape the back. So the gusset, the standard width for the uh, the length for the gusset is four inches. I know some people say five, five and a half, but over time I've realized that uh, four inches is actually okay and it works for me. So I'm using four inches. So I'll make sure that I have at least four inches underneath this. Then match up the center back to the line here. And then pin it, I mean, tape it down. Okay, tape it. All right, then I'm going to measure four inches. Let me use another color of pen. I'll measure four inches down. Okay, draw a straight line. Then I'm going to place my front at the crotch area on that line also, then tape it. Okay. Now, we're going to connect the head of the back to this point with a, with a slightly curved line. See? And that is our gusset. So I'm going to trace this back part. Okay. Trace the front. We already have the line for the front. Then we cut it out. So that's the gusset. And remember also, this is also on four. So maybe you need to write it. We have all our patterns. So this is center back. This is center front, which is usually on fold. 
and here is also on fold center whatever center front <laughs> whatever okay so these are three pieces there's a back pants piece this is the front and this is the gusset and like i said earlier on there are times that you want to shape your panties and you want to come down you know from the edge you don't want it to be this wide you don't want this much coverage so i can go down by two inches i can go by four inches let's see so then you connect like this okay connect like this and sometimes you can drop the front also by half an inch more you can drop it by one inch one and a half and then draw your line to the edge of the uh, uh, to the side seam here okay So you can adjust it that way. You can see that okay, this one will, will not cover as much as this initial one. Most pants, most regular pants, they are not as wide as this. So you can do the same thing for the back. So that's it for this class. In my next class, I don't want the class to be too long. So in my next class, I'm going to show you how to uh, uh, sew the pants. Now we're going to cut our pieces and remember to add all your seam allowances when you are cutting. If you want to change something about the width of this side, the side seam, you can go ahead and change it. But cut out your pieces, and in my next uh, class, I'll show you how to join it together. All right, catch you in my next class, and uh, remember subscribe.